You know, I'll go with this to the lane. Yay! so diligently preparing for. It's hard to believe we'll be leaving this place after all the time we spent wishing to be released into a world so much larger than any of us realize. Many of us entered the doors as freshmen thinking we'd have all the time in the world to determine who we were, what we wanted, and what we wanted to be. But it has been our years here that have helped to shape who we are, have made us strive for what we wanted, and taught us how to become what it is we want to be. As a freshman, I could not have envisioned myself standing here speaking to you today. The shy, timid, and self-conscious Taylor preferred to blend into the background and go about her business covertly. But it hasn't been that easy. I'm bewildered by how much high school has helped me grow. And it's not just me. I see that growth in the eyes of my classmates every day. Many have stepped up and taken on responsibilities, whether it be simply finishing homework assignments, or applying for jobs in the real world. It has been a year of adventures. I feel we have truly grown closer than we could have ever imagined. Sharing memories became a frequent form of, form of procrastination as our laughter echoed through the senior lounge where we gathered. The time has been well spent reminiscing on the topics of field trips, birthday parties, sleepovers, dances, and the list goes on. The reminiscing has made us realize what we'll be leaving behind and has caused us to reflect back on how far we've come not only as individuals, but as a group. We've had many trying times being the class that few believed in, and we may be small, but we're a force to be reckoned with because we're here today, are we not? Whether it was pushing through an algebra test or scrambling to type out that last minute paper, we accomplished all the minor day-to-day -day tasks that have led to our arrival here today. We, the class of 2012, turn the tables and give the, those who didn't believe in someone, those who didn't believe someone to believe in by believing in ourselves. I'd like you to listen while I share with you some simple words that the actress Florence Henderson wrote. I hope you will find them as inspiring as I do. Stay open to the unexpected. Learn to let go of your self limited thinking. Tomorrow, something unexpected is going to happen that is going to be exciting. Let the experiences come. Don't be afraid to say yes a lot. Be grateful and forgiving. Stay flexible. Know that there's always another way. Keep going and never stop pushing the envelope of your potential. To my class, it is vital that you never allow anything to restrain you. All of you are capable of whatever it is you aspire to become. It will be your experiences that will continue to make you who you are. You grow from them and flourish, learning new things each day. My wish for you is that you will neither stop learning nor let your fear of the unknowns paralyze you. The American poet Ralph Waldo Emerson said, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. High school is only the beginning of our journey. What we have begun here could take us farther than we could ever dream. None of us know the world will be traveling 10 years, 5 years, or even 1 year from now. Only time will tell us that. So make the most of what you do and honor every moment. I wish all of you the best of luck wherever your journey takes you. And I hope that someday your paths will cross again. And we can say, remember when. Thank you. Now our senior ensemble, led by Mr. Matley. <laughs> <laughs> 